Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be an AM skincare routine featuring some very exciting skincare products. We're going to be using both K-Beauty and J-Beauty today. Style Vana kindly sent over their newest Vana box 2.0. This is called the Acne Busting Hero Box. Oh, they made one just for acne. How perfect. I also wanted to bring back that chat and review format that I haven't done for a while. If you're new to this channel, you may not have seen me do this format at all, but I like it. I like our chats together and I've been missing them. So in case you've never seen one of these types of videos, what I like to do is have the chat while I apply the products. And if you are only here for reviews, there will be a timestamp in the description box below that you can jump to to see just a bunch of speed reviews of these products. Here's the thing, we're doing an acne kit today. I've been wanting to talk about this topic of acne positivity for such a long time on this channel. Uh, what better place than here? What better time than now? So I'm gonna go ahead and start up this routine. Uh, maybe I should not look in the camera itself, but look in a mirror and find my little Kosar X dots that I wore last night. Is this, is this a disturbing thing to share on camera? I have been, of course, dealing with an increase in breakouts. If you saw my last trial, things did not go well and it typically takes my skin a while to get back on track. Oh, it's been a rough few months. So I guess before we get into this video, I should mention I've been trying to do a two-week trial with these products, but it's, it's not going to be a perfect two-week trial. I've been a little more cautious about the products that I've been using. So we are just going to start with an old faithful product today, which is, again, the fresh kombucha cleansing treatment. I think I got to buy more of this in the Sephora sale. I really... Oh, in the Sephora sale, I've wanted so badly to branch out and try a bunch of fun new sets, but instead I looked at my skincare collection and realized, oh no, I actually kind of really need to replace certain favorites. As for the topic today, so I did want to talk about acne positivity. It's probably pretty self-explanatory. Basically, it is a movement that emphasizes that acne is a normal thing that up to 80% of the population deals with. And even though it has been negatively associated in a lot of people's minds, a lot of people look at acne and see it as, oh, that person has poor hygiene, they don't take good care of themselves, their diet is terrible. It's not any of those causes, instead it is a skin disorder. And again, something that a lot of people deal with, one in four people over the age of 30 deals with acne. It is very common. Moving on to the iUnique Tea Tree Serum from the Vana Box. So of course I was so happy to find out that this movement exists. You know, I've had acne for 10 years, and let me tell you something. In all the time I've had acne, the only thing I really regret about it is all of the times where I talked myself into staying home and being miserable. I have a feeling that if any of you are watching this and you deal with acne yourself, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes you look in the mirror and you just cannot get yourself to overcome the negative feelings you have towards your own self-image. So much so that when your friends call you and invite you out to do something fun, you decline. You instead choose to stay at home and feel ugly all evening? That is absolutely what I regret, even more so upon, you know, going through a global pandemic. Oh my goodness, I have sat and thought about the many times that I did this to myself, that I elected to just be sad and stay at home. The Vana box actually comes with the Some By Me AHA, BHA, PHA cream. I'm going to skip this today. I've been pretty cautious about AHA usage just because, again, my skin went through a lot. So we're going to instead use a J Beauty product that was gifted by Damu Damu. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I actually did put that into a translator and that's what it said. And if my translator is wrong, I will likely never break the habit of calling this brand Damu Damu. I made a word association with a bunch of emus running towards me. And uh, not only is that pretty terrifying, emus are terrifying. You know emus are terrifying, right? You do know this? 
I don't think that's a cute bird. They're terrifying. Comes with a nice little scoop in here. Again, I'll review all this stuff later on in this video. So just a quick intro at this point where you see me apply it. My concern with this entire acne positivity movement is that I found out about it a year ago. Well, more recently we had acne positivity day and I found myself thinking, hey, wait a minute. I heard about this an entire year ago. Where is the movement? A movement requires people moving, talking about this and actively spreading awareness of acne positivity. Where, where's the awareness? This is always the problem that I run into doing skincare get ready's with me is they are so fast that I haven't even really gotten to my point yet. So just to let you know where I stand with this acne positivity thing. So I decided to look it up. I went onto Instagram and I typed in acne positivity because I wanted to see some of what I've read so many positive things about. And it turns out if you search this on Instagram, you will find a ton of accounts that are dedicated to talking about acne positivity. You will see so many beautiful faces that yes have acne but aren't putting a filter over it aren't hiding it are talking about what it's like to be living with acne which is a good message as again up to 80 percent of the population is also living with acne so ironically in finding this incredibly positive message i felt a little frustrated why is it that i've been following skincare accounts for ages and yet the instagram algorithm never once felt that it needed to show me any of this. In spite of all of the acne posts that I've made, it was like, yeah, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. This is exactly what the Instagram algorithm is in trouble for. The Facebook algorithm, it's all in trouble for the same reason, and that is showing people too much of potentially harmful content as opposed to all of the really good content that certain content creators do put out there. Instead, they end up showing images that weaken the self-esteem of young people as a whole. They show much more toxic content to some people, you all know. And uh, this is just another example of that. Instead of seeing acne positivity, when I load up skincare into my Instagram homepage, I see a lot of before and after, miracle product cures, which please, as somebody who's dealt with acne for 10 years, there is no miracle product cure. There's no miracle product cure. There is managing your acne through a good skincare routine, but there's no one product that fixes everything. The interesting thing is that according to those platforms, the algorithm only shows people what they want to see, which therefore must mean that in spite of all the positive content that exists, somehow people are choosing to see the much more negative and harmful content instead, to see the filters, the unrealistic expectation, the Jenners and the Kardashians. But why? And to answer this question, I went to some research in psychology, and let me tell you what, it is very interesting. If you want to delve deeper, I will have citations in the description box below. I think what was most interesting about delving into this is that, you know, we don't actually have a lot of documented research into the effects of social media. That's been a problem for a while. Research takes a long, long time to do. On my studies, it was probably uh, five years on a simple project and six years on a much more complicated, not even much more complicated, just a little more complicated study. What did we have, an N of five, five, four or 500? But what's super interesting about looking at platforms like Instagram, which is a platform based in photos, is that you can still look at research from the 1950s on color theory and what people prefer in looking at photos and apply that to social media and those rules still apply. For example, people like high contrast photos, which is a lot of why even the basic Instagram filters that we had back in 2010, do you all remember using all of those? Remember Valencia? We used to use all of those to try to achieve these visually appealing photos. People like warm tones, well that certainly helps to explain the preferences of some people for orange foundations, I guess. 
there's decades of research looking at what people prefer to look at. And this is all very important for uh, elements such as marketing, for advertising, for making a good movie, all kinds of applications, very much including Instagram. Now, more recently, and again, truly in only the past few years, we've started to see some amount of research into the impact of Instagram, the impact of, in particular, those uh, photo editing apps, Facetune, I suppose. I really, really hope that in my efforts to talk about Facetune, which I know absolutely nothing about because I do not own it, I hope I don't sound like, do you commit to ending? Finsta. <sighs> so in taking together all of the studies that I have linked below, we do see that there is developing research into facial dissatisfaction, which is certainly the other side of the coin of acne positivity. And specifically, we see certain traits actually do predict a higher amount of facial dissatisfaction. For example, if you're somebody who uh, tends to compare yourself to other people, you will likely be more dissatisfi dissatisfied with your facial characteristics. And also in these studies, people who edited their photos more, who were using the Facetune type of apps, had higher levels of facial dissatisfaction. So what was most used out of everything was the smooth skin effect. 82.8% of people who edit their photos were using that filter or effect. <laughs> Finsta. Blemish removal, 58.9% of people. That is such an interesting statistic because of how closely it aligns with the prevalence of acne. So basically, if you are editing your photos and you have acne, you are likely taking out your acne. And among these study participants, those who had a perfectionistic self-presentation also had the greatest desire to show their best self online, even if it was an illusion. And what I find so darn fascinating about all of this taken together is that this means the people who are recommended to us on our Instagram pages, the people who are recommended to teenagers dealing with acne are the same people who are dissatisfied with their facial features and doing the most editing because at the end of the day, this editing is what people prefer the most. Mic drop, this means Instagram is not wrong when they say the algorithm is simply feeding people their own preferences. But Instagram, this is where you have to make some changes because it is important to recognize that what people want may not be what people need. And yet, when you go to Instagram, you see a bunch of filtered photos, completely clear skin, and unrealistic expectations. It feels like we have this wonderful concept that exists, but it does not get the support that it needs to really flourish. Again, these acne positivity accounts, they're there. They have some of them 60,000 followers. That's wonderful, but that's nothing in comparison to the Kardashians and the Jenners, and yet they are actually promoting healthy mindsets, healthy attitudes towards our skin. It's time for Instagram to step in and actually promote those types of accounts. Now, is this asking too much for a bunch of bots to do? Maybe it is, but that's still a problem that Instagram has got to figure out how to resolve. Okay, let me put on my sunscreen. It's a very exciting sunscreen today. It is the new beauty of Joseon sunscreen, yes. What is this called, what do they call it? Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 Plus PA++++. They sent this over, I'm so excited about finally trying it. I Well, I have tried it once before. It is in all chemical filter sunscreen, but it is those new filters that are not uh, as irritating as old school chemical filters. So some final thoughts on this whole conversation here. My concern is that people with a low self-esteem are most likely the ones who are filling up our feed. We need to start having much more positive role models on Instagram. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and say something that might be kind of unpopular opinion. I think that we, the users, the viewers of Instagram, we have to start pushing for this as well. It's probably helpful information to know that our default preference is actually kind of filtered images. We kind of like that. We like high contrast. We like clear skin. 
But if we want to contribute to more optimal mental health, we have to recognize that and say, okay, I'm going to make an effort to make sure that I am seeking out and following these accounts that are promoting healthier attitudes. I'm going to make sure to like their photos. I'm going to drop them an emoji comment. Just, just a simple emoji goes a long way in terms of algorithms. It absolutely does. That's it for my conversation about uh, acne positivity. Let's get into some of these product reviews. Let's just go ahead and start with the Vana box. Do we have too much light for you to be able to see this? I don't think so. Excellent. Excellent. I do love this new setup that we have going on here. What do you think? Do you like it? Uh, so this box is currently $31.99, which is an incredible value. It's roughly 50% off the retail prices and and you can use my discount code and it actually gets you a bigger discount right now. I'll have to put it up on the screen somewhere, but they are running a promotion so you actually get a greater discount with my code. How thoughtful. And that does combine with the other sales that they're running on their website. I will say as a whole, this is a wonderful box for acne prone skin, but I do think it leans a little bit more towards combination oily skin. This makes sense because more people with acne have oily skin types. I have dry skin and acne. It's a little less common, but I still enjoyed actually Four out of six of the products in this box were huge hits for me. So I guess we'll kind of go in order of the pamphlet here. The East Century Green Tea Fresh Toner, which I've actually been using since the advent calendar. Side note on that, if you did miss the advent calendar, check out the entire collection of the Vana boxes. They also have a Wrinkle Fighter Box 2.0 and Beauty Lister. Uh, a, a beauty, what did I just call that? <laughs> beauty a lister box. Yeah, they're both incredible curations. The Wrinkle Fighter box has my absolute favorite Sioris product, the Deep in a Barrier Cream. No, one, one of my two favorite Sioris products, as well as the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Essence Water. Haru Haru Wonder, the Beauty A Lister box has the Haru Haru Wonder Hyaluronic Essence, or toner rather, the Beauty of Joseon Cleansing Balm, more Eason Tree products, some Purito. Oh, they're incredible curations. And again, I always say this because it's true. Style Vana curates their boxes so well. But back to the acne box. Am I making a long video? Probably. The Green Tea Fresh Toner, I actually love it. So I have a, a slight uh, editing correction for the pamphlet here. It says contains 80% green tea extract as well as anti-sebum P, a certified ingredient which reduces sebum production. It actually is regulates sebum production. Small but big difference if you are strictly talking about reducing sebum production. If you have dry skin, you'd want to avoid this, but it's regulates. So if you have dry skin, you will probably be able to use this. The iUnique Tea Tree Relief Serum. This is a product I talk about all the time. It is based in tea tree water, which is not the same thing as tea tree oil. It tends to be much more gentle, and yet you get that powerful antimicrobial activity. Very helpful if your acne is bacterial in nature. Again, acne's tricky. There's a lot of different aspects that could contribute to it, but if it is bacterial, mm, that's gonna help you so much. And the Some By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Cream. This is probably going to be a favorite for you if you have a little bit of a tougher skin type and you have more, uh, what happened to my voice? and you have more oily to combination skin. It's very lightweight. It's very lightweight. I was very nervous about trying this because I had tried their uh, cleanser from this line and it did not work out for me. If you saw my reaction to the Augustinus Bader cream, it looked just like that. So I patch tested this for probably five days. For probably five days, I just kept saying, let's just put a little tiny bit on and make sure everything is okay. It is, it's totally okay. I'm just being extra cautious and didn't use it today because again, it does have some AHA, BHA and PHA ingredients, although they are at low levels. They're pretty low levels, good for daily use. This from Make Prim. This is the Comfort Me Moss Calming Mask. This was a really nice addition to this box because like I said, this box is geared more for combination to oily skin, but I think you're gonna love this if you have dry skin. Infused with Iceland moss extract and medecasoside, it soothes and calms irritated skin, strengthening... 
I'm feeling like in spite of waking up this morning, I'm not sure my brain fully woke up. Anyway, for irritated skin, for strengthening your skin barrier, I, ooh, I liked this a lot. But of course I did because those are exactly the types of problems that I run into given that I have a lot of allergies I deal with. Anything that strengthens my skin barrier is going to be a favorite. The Cosarex Acne Pimple Master Patch. Man, this is a really good one. It's really good. If I ever do a video ranking uh, pimple patches, uh, admittedly, I would have to put the uh, micro needle patches at the top. They're very effective, but please don't ever pay four dollars for one single micro needling patch. Please don't do it. Uh, but then I would say Peace Out, which is really expensive but shockingly good. And then it might actually be the Cosarex. These are very effective. They seem to be extra thick and extra good at really pulling out anything that you may have in a whitehead. Sounds a little bit odd, but they're very effective. And then the Cinca Perfect Whip Cleansing Foam. So apparently this is from Shiseido. I actually did not know that for a while because it doesn't say Shiseido on it, but I think if I have if I gather all of this and understand this correctly, I believe this is a more affordable line under Shiseido. This is apparently a very popular product. You see that number number one product to indicate how much of a bestseller it is? I found this a little bit drying for my dry skin. I have no doubt that it's probably quite nice if you have combo to oily skin, but I still love it because it turns out this is such a nice body cleanser for me. Oh my goodness, it foams up. It's actually great for shaving. Uh, I love it, just completely for a different reason than I initially thought I would. It's a great box. Thank you so much, Stylevana. Uh, if you are interested, I noticed that it is getting kind of low in stock as of the time I'm filming this, so definitely check it out rather than wait. It may not be there forever. The Damu Damu Tokyo Mochi, no, Mochi Mochi Luminous Cream. So this brand is actually available at Sephora and I certainly hope they do well because again, the I don't understand why Japanese skincare products are so underrated in this country. They're such a unique texture. This one right here, it feels so light going on your skin. You, you saw that it doesn't, uh, you know, take forever to blend into your skin, which has become a pet peeve for me. I have no time for that anymore. This just melts into your skin and yet it feels so moisturizing. I don't know how they accomplished <laughs> I don't know how they accomplished this. I got the box now. It says potent yet weightless, light and buildable. Totally agree with that. It's a fragrance-free, very simple and straightforward formula. They say it's best before makeup or sunscreen, so it turns out, yeah, it's very well done. And not too pricey. Not Tatcha type of pricey. Not bad at all. Last product for this video, the beauty of Josan. Relief Sun and Rice Probiotics, SPF 50, PA++++. I'm actually back a little later in the day to give you some thoughts on this one. My main question with Beauty of Joseon as a whole is how do y'all keep doing it? How do you just put out hit after hit? How? I'll have these ingredients up on the screen so you can see. I mean, how is this just jam-packed with beneficial ingredients? Some of my favorites in here, kelp, ginseng, green tea, rice, fermented ingredients, no added irritants, no fragrance, no essential oils, just incredible ingredients. A beautiful formula, as you saw from me applying it. Let me make sure to answer some of the most common questions I get about sunscreens. Does it have a white cast? Definitely not, as you saw. Does it sting the eyes? I have not experienced any stinging. I will say I rarely do. I think I might have trained myself to uh, not rub my eyes. I think that is a main source of the eye irritation related to sunscreens. I can get that from even a, a, a zinc mineral sunscreen. Anything can irritate my eyes if I itch them, so I try not to. It seems to be holding up really well. Uh, again, probably not, uh, they're not advertising it as waterproof, so it's probably not, but it is staying in place very well on my dry skin. Uh, it's incredible. It's, in I 
I don't understand how they keep doing it. But that's it for today's AM skincare routine. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about either acne positivity, Instagram's role, or any of the products that we talked about. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, of course, all products will be linked in the description box below. Making a purchase through those does help to support this channel. And that is all we have for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope your week is going wonderfully. Make sure to like and subscribe on your way out if you did enjoy this video, and I will see you all next time.